Compassion Fatigue Compassion fatigue is a form of stress that someone can develop when they have direct exposure to traumatic events, like firefighters, police officers, paramedics, emergency hospital workers, or secondary exposure, child protection workers, helping victimized clients, or hearing clients talking about traumatic experiences, and are focused on helping others through extraordinarily stressful or traumatic situations. The effects of compassion fatigue can result in the person being left feeling exhausted and drained, both physically and emotionally. Often, there is little room for them to take the necessary steps that would allow them to recharge and recover. What is the difference between compassion fatigue and burnout? While compassion fatigue and burnout are similar, there are distinct differences in where the stress originates. People who suffer from compassion fatigue have their view of the world damaged or transformed because of the work they do. Unlike compassion fatigue, burnout develops from providing care and support to people experiencing trauma, resulting in diminished empathy and feeling emotionally numb. How does compassion fatigue affect someone's life? Compassion fatigue can have significant repercussions in someone's life that reach far beyond their profession. They may begin to withdraw from friends and family because they feel emotionally detached from these meaningful relationships. How can someone learn to cope, recognize, and reduce compassion fatigue? Use self-compassion. Focus on yourself. Recognize and feel your emotions so that you can begin to release your thoughts. Review and rebalance your workload and look for ways to increase job satisfaction, self-awareness, and limit trauma inputs. Join a support group for people who have similar roles and professional obligations. Speak with a therapist to help you develop a clear set of boundaries. How can you be supportive of someone who is experiencing compassion fatigue? Acknowledging and understanding that this phenomenon is a byproduct of the carer's role, not simply someone having a bad day, is a great way to help reduce compassion fatigue. Educate yourself so that you can recognize and provide support through developing appropriate boundary setting, active listening, compassionate expressions of kindness and connection, and being empathetic to them.